Hey guys, it's Rich, and today is day 11 of your 40-day empowerment journey. Lesson 11 is cease to worry. Life is a journey, and I have no reason to hurry. Stressing about what's out of my control, rather I need tranquility and to search my soul. You know, all of my life I've been rushing and I kind of wanted to grow up a little too fast, and I kind of did. I was always that old person stuck in a young person's body, and now I'm beginning to find myself catching up to my mind, and I kind of missed a lot of my life whenever I had a chance to enjoy it a little bit more. But looking back, I mean, I don't really regret the things I've done because I did what I wanted to do on my terms for the most part. However, I wonder how my life could be different if I would have just not hurried so much. If I would have found the tranquility in life and just been in the moment. <sighs> when I look at my practice, I notice that I hurried a lot whenever I first started out. And I think a lot of us do. I think we I think we search and search for all the reading material that we can get our hands on. Uh, casting spells is a big thing. It's new and exciting. You want to learn as much as you can from it. But I I really miss not just taking the time to slowly ease into it and ask that why behind what I do. I really wish I would have started my practice with those simple principles of asking the why behind what we do, journaling a lot more and really making it a part of my practice, not necessarily to go and do spellcraft all the time, which is really fun to do, and when needed, it's very important to do when you're called to do it. So I'm not, I'm definitely not knocking that at all. I just wish that instead of hurrying up and putting the cart before the horse, I would have slowed down, read a lot more, and I kind of have a problem with that because I'm not a fast reader. I've always been a slow reader, even though I love to read, but I really wish I would have taken the time to read a lot more. I have about 50 books sitting behind me that are awaiting my my eyes to glance their pages, so yeah, it's one of the things that on this year here in Korea that I've kind of put my nose to the grindstone and said, you know what? I'm actually going to study more on my practice. I'm going to get back to the very roots of everything. I want to rediscover why my path works for me. What exactly does work for me? What doesn't work for me? Questioning everything. Putting it all into perspective. Even though it can change in the future, that's really not the point as much as reconnecting and knowing the why behind what I do. It's really reconnecting with some of the the authors that I've sort of missed this past three or so years, two or three years, that I haven't read as much, that I really kind of miss just reading their their thoughts on a page. Ones that I didn't understand at the time because they were talking on another level that I just was not ready for. So I'm reacquainting myself with them. Even though I loved their writings, it was hard for me to relate because I wasn't exactly on the same vibration or on the same wavelength as them. So this year for me, beyond being a, on wisdom and what that word really means to me about gaining wisdom, it's reconnecting. It's Learning not to hurry, not to rush my practice, not, not to rush my daily living, to just be in the moment, to be part of everything that's around me, to 
be part of the energy that I raise, the the energy that I hold, the, ener the energy that is sent to me or from me. Learning not to hurry. It's a hard concept to get whenever you're just starting on your practice because, like I said, you everything's so new to you. You want to figure it all out and you really want to just dive in with both feet. But there's nothing wrong with slowing down, stopping to smell the roses, and learning the why behind what you do. And it actually took me a good five or so years to start understanding that this is not something that you master. And it kind of hit me one day. I, I can't remember exactly when it hit me because I am a bad journaler. As much as I love to keep a record of things, to keep an accounting of things that have happened in my life, I'm bad at journaling. But I remember it hit me at, one day, or over the course of several days, a little idea kept on hitting me that this is a journey, it's not something you master. Your magical practice, or non-magical practice, is something that develops over time, that will be with you your entire life, that you can continue studying your entire life and never truly understand or master every single thing. Something that's kind of stuck with me, that keeps on replaying so I remember it in my mind. Being in the moment, knowing not to hurry, not to be that old man yet, just be whatever age I am. Cherishing the things that I have at this moment and knowing that tomorrow is tomorrow's problem, but today is what I need to focus on. So I hope day 11 has been worry free for you. As usual, down in the bottom bar, you can find the verse for today, along with a link to the poem in its entirety, along with some of Shell's other poetry can be found at that website as well. Until tomorrow on day 12, may you have love, hugs, and ladybugs. Bye-bye.